Review is on normal distribution. In today's video, here is the problem. If the marks obtained by a number of students in a certain subject are approximately normally distributed. See here, we have to choose normal distribution with mean 65 and standard deviation 5. If three students are selected, how many students? Three students are selected at random from this group. What is the probability that at least one of them would have scored above 75? See here, the question is so simple. What is it? It is given. So we have to choose normal distribution. And mean is given as 65 and standard deviation as 5. And if three students are selected at random from this group, what is the probability that at least one of them would have scored above 75? See here, as usual, let uh, mu be the mean and sigma be the standard deviation. Here, the mean is given as 65. See here, mean is given as 65 and standard deviation as 5. And now, we have to calculate the probability that at least one of them would have scored above 75. First, I am going to take x is equal to 75. When x is equal to 75, see here what will be the z value. So, z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. See here, x value is equal to this is 75. Mu is equal to this is 65 by 5. And therefore, the value here will be so, if you observe this one, the value here will be 10 by 2. So, which is equal to 2. So, we got the value of Z value as 2. And now, see here, above 75. So, above 75 means, so the probability of X greater than 75 in terms of Z. We can write this as probability of Z greater than 2. So, Z greater than 2. Now, this will be the normal curve the normal so this tends to plus infinity and this tends to minus infinity this is x is equal to mu when x is equal to 75 we got z value as 2 when x is equal to 75 we got the x value as plus 2 so plus 2 we have to plot towards the right side of the ordinate so this value is z is equal to 2 and this value is z is equal to 2 so z is greater than 2 so this value it is greater than 2 so instead of calculating more than 2 so what i'll do is 0 0.5 minus the area in between z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 2 so as usual see here instead of calculating from z is equal to 75 to infinity so i'll calculate so z greater than 2 it is nothing but uh, 0 0.5 minus the probability of uh, 0 less than z less than 2 or 0 0.5 minus area at, of uh, 2 2 means nothing but 2.0 under 0 that is 0 0.4772 that is 0 0.4772 so this value is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0772 so which is nothing but 0 0.0228 so now we got this area hence the required probability that out of three students now see here here when P is given as 0 0.0228 and what will be the Q value? So, next to see here, hence the required. So, we need the required probability. We need the required probability that out of 3 students, out of 3 students, at least see here at least minimum one at least one of them will have marks will have marks more than 75 is given by see here now we have to take this value that is uh, the value that is 3 c1 so, this will be P power 1 and this is Q square and next 3 C2, this is P square, this is Q power 3 minus 2 and next 3 C3, 
this is p cube q bar this is 3 minus 3 see here at least 1 so p must be 1 here so n c 1 p power 1 q power n minus r that is 3 minus 1 2 3 c 2 p square so minimum 1 so maximum till 3 so this is the binomial combination see here so this value will be 3 into p power 1 q square 3 c 2 3 into see here 3 into 2 by 1 into 2 into p square into q power 1 3 c 3 so this will be 1 into p cube into q power 0 and see if i substitute this one what will be the p value so the p value it is nothing but 0 0.0228 See here, P value will be 0 0.0228 and Q value is 1 minus 0 0.0228 whole square plus. So, if I cancel this, the value here will be 3. So, this will be 3 times of P square. P is nothing but 0 0.0228 whole square and Q value is 1 minus 0 0.0228 whole power 1. And the next thing is 1 into 0 0.0228 whole cube. So, this is the value which we have to find out. See, the first thing here is, the first thing here is 1 minus 0 0.0228 square into, the value here is 0 0.0228 into 3. The first value is nothing but 0, 0.0. This is a 6, 5, 3, 1, 6, y. And the next value here is, the value here is 1 minus 0, 0.0228 into, this is 0, 0.0228 square into 3. So, this is into 3. The value here will be, See, this is nothing but 0 0.00152396296. And the next one here is 0 0.0228 whole cube. The value here is 0 0.000. That is 11852352. This plus 0 0.00152396296. 9 this is 6 to 9 plus this value is 0 0.0653165 the value here is the value here is 0 0.0668523316 so this is the required answer so this is how we have to find out and see here approximately this value is nothing but this value is nothing but 0 0.0668 is the required answer. See here. So, these are the three values. After addition, we got this value. And this is how we have to solve. See here. Hence, the required probability that out of three students. See, n value is equal to 3 here. n is equal to 3. That is, here we have to take p plus q is equal to n. The value here is 3. So, the minimum value. So, at least 1. So, we have to go with 1. That is 3C1, P power 1, Q square. And 3C2, P square, Q power 3 minus 2. And this is 3C3. So, this is according to the binomial distribution. So, we have distributed from 1 as uh, we need the values. That is minimum 1 value out of 3. So, so this is how Q is nothing but P minus Q. So, what is Q value? Q is equal to 1 minus P. So, 1 minus P. So, this is the final answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't understand this video, go through this video for one more time. Definitely, you can understand. Please pass it on to your friends if you really like this video.